For more than 24 hours, Tesla has been deploying the FSD beta reliable subversion 10.69.2. The 10.69.2 release notes are similar to those for the primary FSD beta group 10.69. Both earlier versions were dispersed to a limited number of beta testers, but 10.69.2 will be shared to all early access program participants. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we'll take a look at what Tesla FSD 10.69.2 bought new and future updates. Curious to know? Let's find out. Tesla's latest full self-driving software update has begun to be distributed to beta testers. This appears to be an improvement in some ways while being a downgrade in others, as with many Tesla software releases. The strange thing about 10.69.2 is that reports differ greatly on what was improved and what appeared to be made worse. Unless it isn't, the most recent FSD is better at navigating unprotected left turns. Human driver interventions are down unless they're up, and the new version is more cautious, unless it isn't. The impressions on social media appear to be evenly distributed. Videos of cars using the new software are starting to emerge, allowing us to see those pesky unprotected left turns for ourselves. Tesla appears to have taken into account previous criticisms for failing to respond appropriately to pedestrians. Elon Musk claims that the software has become overly cautious, particularly around pedestrians. The architecture achieves a 44% lower error rate on lane topology when compared to the previous model, allowing for smoother control before lanes and their connectivities become visually apparent. This allows each autopilot drive to be as good as someone driving their own commute, while remaining general enough to account for road changes. Because of improved system and actuation latency modeling in trajectory planning, overall driving smoothness has been improved without sacrificing latency. Latency between steering commands and actual steering actuation, as well as latency between acceleration and brake commands and actuation, is now taken into account by the trajectory planner. This results in a more accurate representation of how the vehicle would drive. This improves downstream controller tracking and smoothness, as well as response accuracy during harsh maneuvers. When approaching and exiting median crossover regions in the presence of high-speed cross traffic, Tesla has also improved unprotected left turns with a more appropriate speed profile. This was achieved by allowing for an optimized initial jerk to mimic a human's harsh pedal press when passing in front of fast objects. In addition, the lateral profile approaching such safety zones has been improved to allow for a better post that aligns well with exiting the zone. Finally, improved modeling of future intent enables improved interaction with objects entering or waiting inside the median crossover region. The occupancy network now has control over arbitrary low-speed moving volumes. This also enables more precise control over object shapes that are difficult to represent with a cuboid primitive. This required predicting velocity at every 3D voxel. Owners may now have control over slow-moving UFOs. Tesla's occupancy network was upgraded from a single time step to use video instead of images. Because of this temporal context, the network is resilient to temporary occlusions and can predict occupancy flow. Improved ground truth through outlier rejection based on semantics, hard example mining, and a 2.4x increase in dataset size. To increase smoothness for protected right turns, we improved the association of traffic lights with slip lanes versus yield signs with slip lanes. When no relevant objects are present, this reduces false slowdowns and improves yielding position. The number of false slowdowns near crosswalks has been reduced. This was accomplished by gaining a better understanding of pedestrian and bicyclist intent based on movement. A complete vector lanes neural network update reduced geometry error by 34% in ego-relevant lanes and 21% in crossing lanes. Information bottlenecks in the network architecture were eliminated by increasing the size of per-camera feature extractors, video modules, auto-regressive decoder internals, and adding a hard attention mechanism. By doubling the size of the auto-labeled training set, we were able to increase animal recall by 34% by increasing speed profile comfort when creeping for visibility. Creeping was also enabled for visibility at any intersection, where objects could potentially cross Ego's path, regardless of whether or not traffic controls were present. Tesla now has increased recall of forking lanes by 36% by integrating topological tokens into the auto-regressive decoder's focus operations and increasing the loss applied to fork tokens during training. 
The new update has improved velocity error for pedestrians and bicyclists by 17%, particularly when eagle turning. By improving onboard trajectory estimation, use this input to the neural network and object detection recall, eliminating 26% of missing detections for distant crossing vehicles by tuning the loss function, use during training, and improving label quality. Tesla was able to boost object future path prediction in scenarios with high yaw rate by incorporating yaw rate and lateral motion into the likelihood estimation. This is useful when objects are turning into or away from the lane of ego, especially at intersections or in cut-in scenarios. The new update also has increased confidence in merging onto the highway due to improved handling of upcoming map speed changes, reduced latency when starting from a stop by accounting for lead vehicle jerk, allowing for quicker detection of red light runners by comparing their current kinematic state to their expected braking profile. By the way, if you're watching this for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic. Tesla's autopilot software has developed exponentially. However, it is still unsuitable for crowded markets in terms of safety. Despite of all the enhancements to the FSD beta, it's important to remember that Tesla autopilot isn't perfect. Tesla's cost-cutting measures may, in fact, have contributed to its vehicles colliding with motorcycle riders. Other videos have emerged on Twitter, highlighting the latest beta's triumphs and terrors. The software, at its best, resembles a human being. At its worst, it careens onto busy roads, disregarding stop signs. According to some testers, the software is nearing completion, with complete end-to-end -end operational competency. Others argue that this is ridiculous and that you should not put an infant's child's life in the hands of this software. Even Tesla owners who are law on Tesla or bullish on the company see the new software as a step back. Despite the fact that there appears to be no evidence to support Elon's claim that Tesla's will be entirely self-driving this year, he continues to make the claim. Tesla beta testers should always be cautious when auditing the new software. This new version of the FSD will focus on providing a better driving experience for all, but it will be extended to those with safety scores of 80 and higher. This new release will change the narrative and head on for other EV users, making the service more accessible to those who are eligible. The top billionaire also hinted at a new update for the company, especially since the FSD beta version 10.69.3 will be released shortly after the AI day release to lower safety scores. The full self-driving feature is becoming more accessible to everyone, and it is bringing its features to many users for their system experience, delivering an autonomous drive to everyone. Musk and Tesla appear to be intent on keeping the FSD beta version 10.69 ball rolling for a long time, as the system number continues to grow, rather than moving on to the next designation in line. Normally, company updates change numbers, but version 10.69, which was released in August, is getting an availability extension. Musk is a well-known fan of memes and modern pop culture references, which he incorporates into Tesla systems, most notably with the introduction of games through its EV infotainment system. It is an important addition to the system because it allows drivers to play games while the car is parked, which is a huge feature that the company has exclusively. Shortly after the exclusive release of 10.69, two versions of the general release were made available to everyone, the first focusing on a subset of 100,000 system users with high safety ratings. However, in this major update, the company is expanding its reach to include more users with lower safety scores, particularly those with more than 80 and less than 98, a significant shift from its previous requirements. Users would only have to wait until after AI day to receive the new update and be eligible for an upgrade to the driving system. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Was FSD 10.69.2 able to meet up to your expectations and requirements? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you 